in a lagrangian system the position of a fluid particle in a flow is described as x is equal to x not e to the power of minus kt and y is equal to y not e to the power of kt where t is the time while x not y not and k are constants the flow is the four options given to us are unsteady and one dimensional steady and two dimensional steady and one dimensional unsteady and two dimensional this, so these are the four options given to us and we need to choose the correct one in the given options we have unsteady or steady flow okay so we say the flow is unsteady when the parameter changes with respect to time okay like if we say the velocity if the change in velocity with respect to time is not equal to zero we say that the flow is unsteady okay and if it is equal to zero so do u by do t if it is equal to zero then we say this flow is steady okay, this is steady flow and this is an example of unsteady flow okay it's not just in velocity only in x direction it is it can be in y direction or it can be in z direction if the velocity in all direction does not change with respect to time then only we can say the flow is steady flow all right now in the problem it's given that x is equal to x not e to the power of minus kt where x not and k are constant and y is equal to y not e to the power of kt okay where y not and k are constant so the velocity in x direction u will be equal to do x by do t okay so this will be equal to we can calculate from here itself this is x naught and differentiation of this function will be negative k e to the power of negative k t and if we calculate v from here we get do y by do t that is equal to y naught and differentiation of this function with respect to time will be k times of e to the power of kt so from here we can also write u is equal to minus k x naught e to the power of minus kt and v is equal to k times of y naught e to the power of kt right now if we closely observe here this expression is equal to x and here this expression is equal to y from here x is equal to x naught e to the power of minus kt so we can write u is equal to minus k into x and v is equal to k times of y now we can see here this is the expression of velocity in x direction and this is the expression of velocity in y direction and Uh, definitely this is not equal to zero okay this neither u u is not equal to zero and v is also not equal to zero that means this is a two dimensional flow this is is a two dimensional flow 2d flow okay now we need to find whether it is steady or unsteady flow right so to find that we can differentiate this u and v right so let's differentiate u with respect to time and it comes to be zero because k is a constant and we will treat x as a constant because we are differentiating with respect to time also if we find do v by do t that is change in velocity in y direction with respect to time this is also equal to zero because with respect to time the derivation of this function will be zero that means the flow is steady flow is steady and from here we observe velocity in x and velocity in y direction is only function of position okay so x and y both are function of position or we can say space so the final expression of velocity we can also write so v vector 
will be equal to u i cap that is velocity in x direction plus v j cap that is velocity in y direction so from here we can write v vector is equal to u is minus k x i cap plus k y j cap okay let's go back to the problem we saw here the flow is steady and two dimensional so option b is the correct choice for detailed information on Lagrangian systems, you can refer to the NPTEL course lecture number 7, Lagrangian formalism on the topic classical physics by Professor V. Balakrishnan of the Department of Physics at IIT Madras.